Hey everyone, it's Myron. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to play a clip here of Tim Henderson teaching about pre-tribulation rapture. As you listen to this clip, I want you to think about the word tribulation. And I also want you to think about the word wrath. And I want you to think, is the English word tribulation, tribulation? And then is the English word wrath, wrath? And the reason that I want you to think about that is those two are not interchangeable. There is an English word that says tribulation. And then there's an English word that says wrath. It's the same way, if you were to go to the Bible and look into the Greek, you're going to find two different words there with two different definitions. So if you were to say the tribulation period and God's wrath, you're going to have two different separate definitions. But let me play this clip for you and, and, and let you see how it's being presented. I wanted to bring you just one passage, or one verse, maybe three verses, uh, that speak to the fact that the, the rapture is pre-tribulation. I'm going to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 9. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that, whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, I love this, therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. The rapture here, it actually has two aspects. One is salvation and the second is wrath. For the believer, it means the consummation of his or her salvation in heaven. For the unbeliever, it means the ushering in of a time of wrath on earth. Now, since we are of the day, God did not appoint us to the wrath which he will pour out during the tribulation period. Listen closely to what's being said right here. This is very important. God did not appoint us to the wrath which he will pour out during the tribulation period. Guys, there's many aspects to this, but to, to narrowly look right now, at the difference between tribulation and wrath is very important because basically if you were to just listen to how Tim is speaking, Tim is really telling you he is not a pre-tribulation rapture believer. He's a pre-wrath believer. And I believe some of the reason why these guys ignore Matthew 24 is because the Bible uses the word tribulation in Matthew 24, and possibly they think tribulation is wrath. But it's not. Especially, it, it may be somebody's wrath, but when you deal with God's wrath, and you deal with the wrath of the Lamb and the wrath of God, you're looking in Revelation. There is an extremely clear distinction between the two. I want to recommend that you look at a video I've done called Great Tribulation versus God's Wrath. And you realize just by, if you listen to that, you can gain some understanding is, what is this big, huge fight all about? Because from my perspective, Tim is telling my brothers and sisters, you're not going to be around for the tribulation period. But Jesus Christ is saying you will be around for the tribulation period. And Paul also speaks to that. But then in this conversation, such as we're in here, Tim defines the tribulation period as a time in which God's wrath is poured out. You can't go mixing these things up. Jesus said there's going to be great tribulation, such as the world has never seen before. In the same chapter, Matthew 24, he is also speaking, you will be uh, hated of all nations, for my name's sake. Those that are hated for Christ's name's sake are Christians. They are Christians. So please look at that video that I've done. Great Tribulation versus God's Wrath.